is up you guys welcome back to my channel today's video uh, if you guessed it yes it's going to be a makeup look um, everything is going to be all purple my eyes my lips bold purple okay and if you guys are definitely new to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into the video so first here I am brushing up my eyebrows um, to prepare them obviously to line them up and then I decided you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera that's what I was explaining to you guys right here I thought my mic was on so you will see me speaking a few times so I apologize for that um, so here I'm going in with the NYX pore filler I have big pores so I'm just placing them in the areas that are pretty big basically Okay, so I'm adding my Too Faced Born This Way concealer as a base for my eyeshadow and here I'm blending it out with a damp beauty blender. This one um, is from Real Techniques. Everything that I'm using in this video, I'll go ahead and um, list it down in the description box below. So yeah, I'm blending the concealer out as a base and I like to use this concealer because when applying my eyeshadow, it gives it that pop you know that vibrant color like you can basically see it it just comes out and I love that about it and um, now I'm going in the with the Tammy X palette there and I don't remember the shade that I'm using like I said I'll list everything in the description box below that I used in this video I picked up from Amazon it is called the Beauty Glaze Color Fusion Palette and I am going in with my Vanity Planet um, I think it is a crease brush it's a medium blender sorry but I'm going in with my medium blender brush to add that purple shade that you just saw me tap on and now I'm gonna go in with I forgot the name of this brush as well but this is another brush and I'm patting on the more uh, glittery purple on top of that. And I did my eyeliner off camera because I'm very horrible at doing these these lines. Like it's 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 a hot mess. So I wouldn't even want to show you what I do and how I do it. Anyways, so now I'm going in with the Ellie Girl um, color corrector orange to hide all of those hyperpigmented um, marks on my face of course and my dark circles so we're just going to conceal all of that
so I had to come in and let you guys know I know my face look orange but don't worry when it oxidizes it's going to set in place and look just like my skin tone don't worry I even made the look like holy crap my face look mad orange but don't worry it's 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 gonna all come together Okay, so after all that blending, I am going in with my CoverGirl Translucent Powder to set my concealer in place. I am not one for baking, so right after I apply the translucent powder, I definitely go ahead and brush it off, wipe it off, all the excess powder, because I do not like the way... Um, actually, let me know in the comment section down below what's a good translucent powder that doesn't leave that dry feeling or that flashback look when you're taking pictures actually well this one is actually really good it's my favorite one it's just basically I'm trying to look for another one that's actually better than this <laughs> I'm going in with my It's My Ray Ray uh, palette to contour and I'm using my BH Cosmetics number no. 2 angle, it's an angled brush, contour brush, and I'm just basically going in and rubbing my brush up and down and this is um, a bronzer that I very very much love from Milani, it's my Milani baked bronzer, I think it's called Solil number no. 5.
going to use some blush. This is my very second time using blush ever in a makeup um, look that I've ever done. I'm not one to wear blush much, but I actually like this one. It was really, really pretty. It's called Sonia Kashuk in the shade Melon, and I'm using um, my blush brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics as well, and the number one. back in with the it's my Ray Ray palette to highlight and I am using a real technique setting brush to apply my highlighter and look at that color that is my all-time favorite 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 shade from this palette that highlight is so amazing I'm I'm surprised I still even have as much as I do now as much times that I as I use it Obviously, you can see I um, used up the other one. Can't remember the name of that one, but this shade, definitely my favorite. Okay, so I applied my lashes off camera. Where I got these lashes, you will never know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I actually have a lash line that I'm going to launch pretty soon, so you guys definitely stay um, tuned for that. And here I am going in with my NYX lip liner. I am actually, let me just pick this up here. This is, yes, it's NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner, and the shade is Amethyst. I love it. It's a pretty, pretty purple, and I'm just lining my lips with that before um, I go in with my lippy. And that one is also from NYX, and this one is in the shade. It's a soft matte, and it's in the shade Soul, spelled S-E-O-U-L. So I want to say Soul, Seal. I don't know. But then I decided to be a little extra and add another shade on top. And this one is from BH Cosmetics, the purple one that I'm going to add on top of. And look at that, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh. I really just had to cut myself off there because that is very, very pretty. I should have actually left it like that, but I wanted to be extra and I wanted to go for a bold lip. So I went ahead and added this one from BH Cosmetics and this one is, oh my gosh, I can't even read this the shade here but I'll list that down in the description box below for you guys. Okay, you guys, so here is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye!